Lions TV, holy fucking shit. What is going on here? It's transfer deadline day, absolute bedlam. We're not used to this at Millwall at all. Let's start with George Savile. He has left the club by far and away our biggest transfer ever going out of the club. I think previously held by Steve Morrison, wasn't it? But to go to Norwich for about two million. But George Savile has headed north to Middlesbrough. <sighs> Mixed emotions. Listen, George Savile comes to our club. He he was couldn't, couldn't break in at Wolves. He comes to Millwall. He started like an absolute house on fire. Let's make no mistake. He started very, very strongly. He had a worldie against Red Arm, which I remember he scored two there. He then scored two at uh, um, Sunderland, which their goalkeeper threw both goals in there. Should never have been goals. So he was on four goals early doors, about five, six games in, I think. Um, and then and for me, I'm not just saying this. It's not sad great because he's left the club. He did tow off for me. And, and Williams, I said in a couple, video a couple of weeks ago, Williams has become our main man. Let's talk about the transfer in itself. We know that Borough come in and they bid for Savile and Wallace directly for the pair. And we turned it down. They then come back in for Savile on his own for £7 million, And the club rejected it. I've heard rumours, and I don't want to spout them out to you and tell you they're true. But I don't know they're true. I, I heard rumours, put it this way. I heard one rumour about George Savile from some one of my sources. Three days later, I heard the same rumour with about three or four things added onto it. I already didn't want to train. I already refused to train after we turned down the offer from Borough. I heard that he was demanding more wages, you know, and then this thing where he got injured against Sheffield Wednesday, he was refusing to train again and, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know whether all that's true. I don't think we need to worry if it was true. I can't stand people who act like 16-year-old girls on Twitter and start calling him this and calling him that. Listen, the man played for us. He served us. He's done a good job. And now he's moved on. And, and, and it's nothing to worry about because I'm telling you now, Burrow are going nowhere. They, he, no disrespect to Savile, could do wish him well. He's never going to go any higher. He went to Wolves, he wasn't good enough. He came to us, he found his level, I think. And, and he was sort of a big fish in a small pond at Mill, maybe so to speak. Some of you might not agree with that. But he'll go to Borough and he either won't get in, or if he does get in, they're not going to go up Borough. They, I don't think they're good enough. So for me, it's not a massive move forward, but it's great business for us. A year's work out of him for £8 million. You know, I, I, I can't knock it. And these people do abuse you on Twitter. Why? Why is it affecting your life that much that, that the guy's moved on? He's passing a better position financially as a club. And I think, really, I don't think it's a massive loss. I think he's replaceable. I think Jeb would have been a bigger loss. You know, Gregors would have been a, been a bigger loss. Jake Cooper would definitely have been a bigger loss. I, I think he's replaceable, Savile, and, and, and I wish him all the world Borough. Let's move on to what will be George Savile's replacement. Ryan Leonard has joined from Sheffield United. Again, it's a loan deal. Again, it will be made permanent in January. And once again, it is a record for our club. We waited 31 years a lot London buses and then two coming on together. Twice this month we've broken our transfer record. It's believed to be in the region of 1.3 million. Ryan Leonard signs for Millwall and he will, without doubt, I think go straight into the team tomorrow and play along. Sean Williams is a long-term replacement for George Savile. Again, good business for me. And again, you'll get, you'll get the haters saying, oh, fuck him, he wanted to go Sheffield United over us. You never know what's going on in football. You never know the circumstances. Yes, we tried to sign Ryan Leonard from Southend. Yes, he went to Sheffield United. It ain't worked out for him. Maybe he couldn't sell up north. Who knows? But listen, it's worked out for us. He's at the club, and as it, sit, as it stands, we're sitting about £6 million better off with a, with a central midfielder in our team that, that looks good at this level. So, I say, I don't know too much about him. I know he was, I know he was, he was very well thought of at Southend, but he, he, I don't know why circumstances he couldn't get to Sheffield United. But you've got Neil Harris, and also you've got Adam Barrett, who have both... Been around Leonard before. They know he's know how he plays. They've been they've been tracking him for a long, long time. We all know that. And I'm pretty sure, along with Bradshaw, you know, people saying Bradshaw hasn't scored at Barnsley. Different teams, different clubs, different setups, different environments. Harris believes that they can do the business at our club. And in Harris, we trust. George Savile gone between seven and eight million. Ryan Leonard in around 1.3. The transfer record broke twice in two weeks. I didn't lay down. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions. Let's leave it in. Come on, you lights.